ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillar to Post. This is Pete Wall. As always, I am your host, and we've got some important news for you today. Now, recently, we held our big pay-per-view, World War IV, Splaticus, the gods of war, and wow, what a war it was. We came down to it, and a lot has changed. Now, World War IV has come and gone. And I want you guys to understand the, the, the way this works now. So I'm going to break it down to you in story mode. So here we go. World War IV has come and gone. Five years have gone by with many improvements to the wasteland. Our ruler, Blaze McCoy, initiating new policies from his new homeland of Atlantis to better the living situations within the wasteland. Solar, water, and wind being utilized for power distribu distributions across the lands have increased, and now that the ruler has been able to focus on more important things besides the war, everything has been looking up. With Atlantis now the seat of power, none have stepped forward to challenge Blaze's rule until now. A beast of a man has stepped forward from deep in the lands of the east, a man who proved instrumental in ending the war and capturing the victory for the ruler himself. This man is known as D-Train. Five years of peace and prosperity and growth could come to an end as Blaze McCoy must once again allow the competitions to begin within RWO. With treaties in place to ensure the lands cannot go to war for the sake of the wastelands, McCoy will place his ruler of the Wasteland title on the line as he searches for four other men to step inside the Elimination Chamber and battle for the right to be the ruler. Now we also have the Amazons, and the Amazons proving to be intelligent as well as powerful control 70% of the Wastelands. Our Empress Evie Bloodshed working alongside Blaze McCoy to bring about a better way of life. Not just for the men, but the women as well. Life has been fruitful. The spoils of war have been made, have made the Amazons a powerful nation. And keeping with the peace have opened their borders for trade amongst the, all the other nations of the Wasteland. But like all rulers here in the Wasteland, the throne is always in contention. Now, although none have, stepped to, none have yet to step to, up to challenge her, Evie has uh, seen the writing on the wall and knows it's just a matter of time. During the past five years, she has constructed an arena for her Amazons, where weekly battles will take place, and for whomever wishes to step forth and challenge the throne. Five Amazons have the opportunity to end the reign of Evie Bloodshed. Who will those five women be, and which of the five will be your next empress? We shall be finding out in the weeks to come. Now, as the power behind RWO, I, Pete Wall, have decided to implement a brand draft, you might say, splitting the lands in three. The decisions of the wastelands are far too great for just two rulers. From this day forward, there will be the Amazons, the Atlanteans, and Drakengard. Now, the Amazons and the Atlanteans can change the name of their land as they see fit. They must notify me later on. But, for the time being, it is now known as the Amazons, Atlanteans, and Drakengard. The lands to the west will belong to Blaze McCoy, once known as North and South America, as well as Atlantis. Rule your lands, McCoy, and watch your back. The Midlands! as I call it, right now known as the Amazons, that would comprise of Africa and Europe, will now belong to the Empress to rule with her women. But like Blaze, watch your back, Evie. The power struggle is coming. As for Drakengard, those people have yet to find a leader, and thus one must be found in the greatest tournament the Wasteland has yet to see. Every man on the RWO roster will be involved, and once a ruler has been found, the Atlanteans and Drakengard will hold a draft to decide who their residents will be. Ladies and gentlemen, the war might have ended, but the battle to rule the wastelands is about to pick up. 
Oh, I wish every one of you's good luck, as well as the Dragon Guard Tournament to find their first ruler. Believe me, it's not going to be easy, folks. It's going to be a tough struggle. We've got a massive roster here full of men. Uh, we're going on, a, I believe, at 88 men will be comprised in that tournament. So, like I said, a massive tournament coming down, and that will take place on Mondays as well as Fridays. Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Gonna be glorious. The debut of the Amazons of RWO is coming this Wednesday. Yes, tomorrow, matter-of-factly, at uh, 9 p.m.-ish, following Blaze McCoy's Leaning Towards Death Wrestling. A lot of action about to take place, folks. So you definitely want to stay tuned to what's going down in RWO here on Pillar to Post. We're going to shake things up a bit and also discuss about little things and big things alike. What's going on in my life? How the build is going with the Polara? Oh, what fishing adventures have we been on? Did we find the almighty Moby Dick? You're going to have to stay tuned to Pillar to Post to find out all these interesting facts. So, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I am Pete Wall. This is Pillar to Post. Thank you for joining me for this short, short little interim of a news broadcast. There will be more coming at the end of the week, folks. Believe it or not, we're looking to pick business up here on Pillar to Post. We're going to have fun doing it, and it's going to be wild. So, I advise you... Strap one on if you don't got one, because you are going to need it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Have a great afternoon. Have a great night. But always, always have a better tomorrow. I'm Pete Wall. I'm out of here. <laughs>